In the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar's reign, with various rulers in place and Annas and Caiaphas as high priests, John the Baptist began preaching in the wilderness. He called people to repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of sins, fulfilling Isaiah's prophecy of preparing the way for the Lord. John warned the crowds to show genuine repentance and not rely on their heritage. He gave practical advice on sharing resources, fair tax collection, and honest conduct. People wondered if John was the Messiah, but he said he was not. Someone more powerful would come, baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire. John also criticized Herod for his wrongful actions, leading to his imprisonment. This is John. John lived about 2,000 years ago. God had told him to live in the desert and to talk to the people who would come to him there, asking them to change their lives. As a sign that they really wanted to live a better life and follow God, the people let John lower them under the water of the Jordan River and bring them up again. This process was called baptism. Because John did this, he was also called John the Baptist. One day, when Jesus was 30 years old, he visited John in order to be baptized. John recognized that Jesus was the Son of God, and therefore told the people who were with him, This is the man I told you about. I told you there is someone coming who is more important than me. He is the one sent by God, who will make a way for us to be cleaned and forgiven of all our wrongdoings. John didn't even want to baptize Jesus. You should be baptizing me, he said. Jesus explained that it was important that he himself be baptized. So, John baptized Jesus. When Jesus came out of the water, a dove landed on his shoulder. This was a sign that God's Holy Spirit was on Jesus and was leading him from that day on. In the same moment, a voice came from heaven saying, This is my Son, who I love and who I am pleased with. <laughs> 